Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. This morning for breakfast, the cats are having tiki cat, sardine cutlets, and lobster consomme. The ingredients are sardines, lobster broth, sunflower seed oil, locust bean gum, guar gum, choline chloride, xanthan gum, paprika, taurine, and then we go into a whole bunch of vitamin and mineral supplements. So basically, it's just sardines in lobster broth with vitamin and mineral supplements. Boo heard the sardine can open. Like, I didn't even open it yet. I just, like, popped the, the top thing, and he came running down the steps. Boo, you want some sardines? Boo, you want some sardines? This is what the sardines in lobster consomme look like. They pretty much look like the regular sardine cutlets from Tiki Cat. I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference if they were side by side. The cats are eating their breakfast. They're each getting a little bit less than half of a can of sardines, and I don't know why Splash is not eating. He's just sitting off to the side. So what I did was I portioned out a half a can for each cat, and then I took away a little bit from each portion, and I'm going to give it to Hydrox. I'm going to mix it in with some of the Trader Joe's tuna that he likes so much. So Boo should enjoy this. He loves canned food. Um, the other cats should enjoy it. They enjoyed the Tiki Cat sardines the last time that they had it. A lot of times I save the sardines for special occasions, but it's been a few weeks since they had them. And I just thought it would be a nice change today. I have read articles where it is recommended to give cats sardines like once a week. Because it's very good for them as far as like the omega-3s. And sardines are very small fish, so there's usually much less worry about mercury and contamination. And these are not raw fish. Hello, Splash. Why are you not eating your breakfast? Go eat your sardines, Splashy. Good morning, Hydrox. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food. It's about 9.55 a.m. There was a little bit of snow this morning and we can see his paw prints in the snow. So here's uh, the food bowl over here. And there's two sets of paw prints, one going to the food bowl and one coming from the food bowl. And they go over here to the automatic feeder. So he was probably eating some of the dry food out of the feeder, then he went to check the bowl, to see if there's anything in the bowl. So I'm gonna give him some food. He's getting um, some of the Tiki Cat sardines, and then I mixed in one of the Shiba Domes of tuna, um, because I didn't want to open another can. I was gonna open a can of the Trader Joe's tuna, but then I said if I open that, then Boo's gonna run upstairs, he's not gonna eat his food, so I opened um, one of the Shiba Domes because they don't sound like a can is opening, and that's what I gave him. Hello, Hydrox. How are you today? You okay? You doing okay? Would you like some food? I'm gonna put it in the kitty cafe, okay? I'm gonna put it in the, the heated bowl, okay? There he goes. He's going over to check it out. This food is a lot stinkier than the raw food, so I'm sure it was much easier for him to smell it from across the patio. He should like it. And right now, the way he's eating out of the uh, heated kitty cafe, we can see that the table is like a perfect fit for him to eat under it. 
because it does provide him shelter from like snow or rain, whatever's going on. The size of the table is two feet by three feet because the doghouse is like two feet wide. So the table is like three feet wide. And then the other dimension is two feet. So Boo continues to finish off the sardines. Like everyone else has, I guess, eaten what they want to eat. And Boo's down there licking up every last bit. I hope Boo does not overeat and then get sick. I think it's around 7 p.m. right now, I'm not really sure. But I just gave Hydrox his food. This is his dinner, I gave him three scoops of the homemade raw food along with a scoop of the chicken neck so he should really like it there's water and herbs in there and there's hydrox that's okay i walked away he walked away from me uh, when i got too close so i'm gonna go inside and let him eat and uh, the air smells like burning wood again it smells it smells like a fireplace or a fire pit which you know, it's not good. It's just too much. I feel bad for Hydrox and the animals that are living outside and have to breathe that air in like constantly until whoever's burning all that wood stops burning it um, because it's really strong. I don't know if there's a problem with someone's chimney um, or if it is a fire pit, but it is really strong outside and if like if Hydrox was having problems with his respiratory system, that's gonna be a major irritant. I moved the food over for him and he took like two bites and then he walked away from it. It's 9 p.m. I just put a video for cats on for the cats. Um, it's birds and squirrels. And Simba had been sleeping in the cat tower, but when he heard the birds and the squirrels, then he woke up. I also set up the scratch and rolls for the cats because Stella was sitting here, Splash was sitting here, and Boo was sitting here. So now it's like a home theater for cats. We have all four scratch and rolls facing the TV that has the birds and the squirrels on it. And Stella's in this one, Boo's in this one. We'll see if Splash and Simba fill out the others. It is 9.15 p.m. right now, and this is Splash's new thing. If I'm sitting here on the sofa, he'll sit on the floor, not too far from me. Right now, he's probably around two or three feet away from me. And he'll just sit there, and he'll wait for me to give him crunchies. Now, it's nowhere near time for crunchies yet, but the container of crunchies is like right here. So he's sitting by the crunchies, but he's also sitting by me. And every now and then he'll get up and he'll meow at me. And sometimes he lets me pet his head and then he'll go back to sitting. But this is what he does now at night if I'm sitting here. Nine forty seven PM right now. Splash just crawled into the cat gondo. I've never seen him do that before. He's on the second level of the cat condo. Now Simba was in there the other day. And that was the first time that I saw Simba do that. But right now, this is the first time that I've seen Splash do this. They never went in there when it was facing like this direction. Um, so like right here, this is the big scratching area on the cat condo. And the side that Splash is on has like an upstairs and a downstairs area. 
and when the upstairs and the downstairs area was where the scratching area was, the cats never went into it. Like they never used it. But then all I did was turn it around so that the scratching area is facing this way and that the condo area is facing on the side. And ever since I did that, now they go in there. Like cats are so weird like that. Like literally all I did was, you know, turn it like 90 degrees. And now they're in there. I don't know how long he's going to stay in there. But it's very comfy in there. Oh, he's looking at the birds. There's a bunch of black, black birds or black crows on the TV. That's what he's watching. Meanwhile, Simba's sleeping on top of the cat tower. And Stella's sleeping on top of this cat tower. And Boo is sleeping on the play rug next to his arch. Well, okay, he's not sleeping, he's just relaxing. Boo loves sitting on this packing paper. So he's very happy right now. He's sitting on packing paper next to an arch. It's like 10.07 p.m. right now. And Splash, I don't know if he's trying to play with Boo or what, but like Boo's right here and Splash is here. And Splash like just jumped here towards Boo and Boo did not flinch. Boo just stayed where he was. Hello, Boo, you know I'm talking about you. And um, when Boo did not move, Splash just sat down. There's an interesting dynamic going on between Splash and Boo. And one thing that is very much apparent is that Splash is definitely the biggest cat out of all the cats. He's even bigger than Boo. Splash is a big boy. Thank you for watching this Lucky Feral's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.